It's starting to get cold, people, and that only means one thing. Ramen Bidya. Ramen Bidya. What do you mean Ramen Bidya? That's right, folks. We are here at Los Tapatillos. And let me tell you, they have some of the best birria in town. That's why today, this wonderful afternoon, they're actually doing their fourth grand opening here at Harriman, Utah. And they have a special menu, which is fully dedicated to birria. So they only have one meat, and that is birria. But with that meat, they have tacos, they have burritos, they have the consomme, which is the broth that the birria has been cooked in. Birria is normally a lamb that has been cooked underground for hours. And then the meat becomes obviously super tender, the drippings falls. I'm salivating as I explain this. The, the meat just falls off the bone. Then the broth that is in the bottom uh, of this ginormous pot underneath the ground pretty much becomes what's called consomme. Now this is separate from, or this is completely different than the French consomme, but this broth is just pure umami. It's completely packed with flavor. And then that is served with the bidia. And normally it has a tortilla or rice and beans or whatever. But if you do it in a taco form, you kind of dip it in that broth. Today, we're trying the meat version of that. It's not cooked underground, but man, it sure has all the flavors packed into it. And they have not only done the tacos and the burritos, but and sell the consomme, but they also have a ramen version of it. Now, if you like ramen, and if you know ramen, you know that usually it has different components. And the main focus of a ramen would be the noodles and the broth. Well here, this is not a Japanese or a Korean place. It's a Mexican taco grill place that is focusing on this wonderful birria. And let me tell you that this broth can go hand to hand with any ramen I've ever eaten. So let's go ahead and give them a try. They also have a wonderful story that I'll share with you guys later on. But today we're here for some tacos and we're here for that wonderful ramen. Perfect, perfect plate for a wonderful cold day. Okay, folks, I want to go ahead and take some time now and let you know uh, why I haven't posted in uh, almost a month and a half now. So a few wonderful things have happened. Uh, maybe one sad thing happened, but uh, it's not a big deal. Uh, first thing first, uh, my wife and I, Michelle, we're having a wonderful uh, baby. We're having a wonderful baby girl. She will be uh, here with us in February. Um, so. Um, my wife is getting close to that pregnancy uh, birth date uh, coming up soon. So that has kept us really busy, learning tons. And uh, uh, her family and my family are just absolutely thrilled uh, to have her. The other thing is that we uh, officially bought our first place here in Utah. We were able to move um, a little bit further south from Salt Lake. A uh, place called Saratoga Springs right in the Silicon Slopes. So we are happy to be there. Uh, great area, growing area. Um, and then the other thing is we've been busy with uh, a baby, uh, the baby shower, which just happened last um, last Saturday. And uh, family came from Florida and we just had a good time. Uh, I'll show on my Instagram some more of those images and pictures and um, and also um, things that we cooked. Um, really simple, just a lot of snacking items, but it came out great. Um, then the other main reason, I guess, why I haven't um, filmed anything or, or posted anything, my, my wife and I were closely about, we are close to four, almost four weeks just sick. A lot of just um, uh, flu-like symptoms and other types of symptoms and um, the moment that we felt that we were getting better, uh, we became worse the next day, and and that was a back and forth. Um, so that kept us um, that kept us down for several weeks. Um, so, anyways, 
that is the update that, that's what we've been going through and that's some of the reasons why I haven't posted anything I really um, didn't have much energy I'm, I'm just so happy to be able to produce again I do have more work that is um, going through the editing process so that's a little bit of an update as to uh, what has been happening with my life um, my wife's life and um, our family and, and, and also the channel but don't you dare doubt that I will be stopping whether I have 500 followers or, or 500,000 or 500 million I'm gonna continue uh, doing this so really cool story with Christian and Los Tapatios he was actually able to get a recipe from his father-in-law and he loved it and testing it and trying them out and eventually selling tacos and the video out of his backyard uh, and that led to a food truck which led to another restaurant which now leads to this fourth uh, restaurant and it's a full-on family uh, restaurant and let me tell you that their success has been super wonderful one of the coolest things about this concept is that they just do want meat this is just birria there's nothing else and out of that meat they do different dishes so if they got burritos they got tacos they got the consomme soup which is the broth and then they also put the meat in top of that which is just absolutely delicious and then they also have um, the actual ramen birria which is the broth the consomme with the actual ramen noodles on top of that and chunks of beefy birria meat then they also have molitas and molitas have they're becoming actually pretty popular and they are almost like a, a quesadilla but both and like a version between a tostada and what they are what it is is just that right like to, so just like toasted corn flour and then they kind of make it into almost like a little sandwich and you just eat it but it's usually pretty loaded and mulita is usually like a I guess nickname for uh, a little donkey or a female donkey right just just loaded up with stuff uh, and that's becoming really popular and he has that here so let's go ahead and give it a try and, and hopefully uh, it works out for the best so go ahead and take this time and ask every single one of you that are watching to please go ahead and like and subscribe share with your friends um, and we want to keep this channel growing Hola. ¿Cómo se llama? Hola, me llamo la señora, soy Irma de Olivera. Qué sí, bueno, ¿y qué comió? Oh, me comí unas, una mollita, unos tacos. Uy, qué rico. Ya, yeah, es increíble. Eh, el restaurante Tapatíos. Sí. Eh, yo creo que no es la primera vez ni la última. Vamos a seguir viniendo sí, ¿no? porque nos encanta. Perfecto. ¿Y ha ido a sus otras locaciones en West Valley? Sí, en West Valley también. Muy bueno. Yo se los recomiendo. Realmente es un platillo increíble. Hemos probado de todo. Sí, es. Pero esto es mi platillo favorito. A mí me gusta Kingo. la mulita. También, sí, la mulita está rica. La bueno. Mulita. Yo he probado todo excepto la mulita, hoy la voy a probar, te oh, acabo sí, de ordenar. Se la recomiendo. Sí, sí, y está bien llenita la mulita. Esa sí, la... mire, no, 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 esto es increíble. Sí, es mulota. Sola, es mulota. <risa> Qué no, bueno. Sí. Pero se los recomiendo a toda la comunidad hispana, es increíble y a claro, todos. Sí, es claro. bueno para todos, ¿eh? Sí, claro que sí. Bueno, muchas gracias. ¿Y cuál es el nombre de la familia? Olivera, la familia. Familia Olivera, Olivera. muchos gustos, saludos. Y Rojas. Y Rojas. Gracias. <laughs> okay, well, we just met the Rojas and the Oliveira family. They are wonderful, wonderful uh, people and guests here, and they have just expressed their um, their gratitude for this place. Uh, it's closer to them, and they are enjoying the food. The salsa. The salsa, yeah. Red salsa. Awesome. Red, uh, red habanero salsa. Red habanero yeah. salsa. Okay, awesome, man. Thank you. Okay, so we got the red habanero salsa here. We got the green salsa. And then we have, obviously, the cilantro and the onions that go perfect with this. And then, you can't forget the lime. Come on, fresh lime. Come on, people, look at this. The food has just arrived. That is the mulita right there. Yep, you can. Oh, look at the tacos. Look at the tacos. 
Come on, people. That is a work of art. But look at this consomme. This is what I'm talking about. The broth that the meat is cooked in. This is not just any uh, chicken bouillon watery uh, soup here. This is the real stuff. And then, you know what this is. This has to be. This has to be the raw. Oh my gosh. Look at this, people. Tons and tons of birria meat. Oh my gosh, and it smells. It smells so wonderful. Oh. Come on. Look at that. Look at that broth. Look at that ramen. Look at that meat. Look at that broth. Look at that ramen. Look at that meat. Just super, super soft. Super, super soft meat. Look at that. Just super tender. Piping hot, delicious. Bowl of ramen. Bidia. Come on. Let's try it out. Little goes a long way. I don't know, maybe you want to go a long way and have a little bit more. It's up to you. Enough, it's time. Especially one made with birria, and the birria here has always been delicious, at least in the other locations. But I'm not sure if it's because the meat is mixed in with the broth or whatnot, but it tastes a whole lot better here. Maybe it's just the wrong. Thing. I didn't think that this thing could be better, and it is. I don't mean to offend anyone. I've never been to Korea. Never been to Japan, so I've never tried ramen there. But I have had ramen in the states in just about any place that I can get my hands on ramen, and this is better than most ramen places. Not most, but many of the ones that I've tried. This is just that that broth is that broth is just so concentrated, so delicious. The meat pairs. Perfectly, and, and quite honest, I would love to see this broth on a ramen place and see how how well they can balance with more traditional flavors of ramen. Absolutely amazing. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and try the tacos, and that birria ramen was just absolutely amazing. I'm gonna have to finish that at home um, because I want to try as much as possible today. So let's go ahead and uh, dig in. We're gonna follow the same procedure here. Some onions. And cilantro. Now, I wanna show you what I'm looking at here. I mean, look at this delicious birria meat with this cheese that, as you can see, it has been grilled to perfection. Look at that. And then, if possibly, you can hear that crust on that crunchy taco. This is not fried. This has, this has been, this is not fried. This has actually, it's been seared with the consomme oil on a flat top grill. And then of course, you have to have the torados uh, jalapenos nice and roasted with the roasted uh, roasted onions that are nice and sweet as well so 
Let's go ahead and give this a try. And then we're going for the Mulalita. Or Mutalita. Mulalita. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and now drizzle some of that habanero red sauce on top. Go for it here. First, gonna try some of that onion. It's cooked, but it still has a little bit of crunch. It just goes a long, long way. Really good stuff. Then, a little sprinkle of lime. Let's dig in. Absolutely amazing. The consistency on these people is just flawless. They follow the recipe, they do something simple, and they're doing it right. But as good as this is, there's more. Because this is really how you do this. You get the consomme, which is the broth. Okay? You already know about the broth. Now let's go ahead and dip it. Okay? We're gonna dip that sucker. I can just drink this one there, I think. Mm. So flavorful. for your comments go ahead and please subscribe and like uh, if you like this video and if you're just tuning in my name is James Collins and I am the host and eater of this channel and we want to go ahead and continue growing and expanding and be able to go to more places you know the drill so go ahead like subscribe comment below I'm usually pretty good about commenting back and giving any feedback, answering any questions, and um, let me know what you want to see next. Okay, people, this is how you dip a birria. Birria taco, that is. It has to be soaky, it has to be delicious. It has to be smothered in flavor. I cannot get enough of these onions. Also dip them in the cosmetic. Mm. It creates the onion petals are big enough that it creates like a little spoon. So I just scoop up the, the broth. Mm. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and try the mulita. And again, this is like that quesadilla slash tostada type of um, dish. And it's really, really well loaded. It's just a, the version of the two. It's not too big, it's not too small. It's just right. And it's just loaded. Just loaded with video. I mean, come on. So, we're gonna go ahead and dig in. Beep, come on. That crunch. Why is this so good? It's the same. The ingredients just made, prepared differently. What the heck?
is it the mindset? Is it me just being able to grab this with two hands and just eating it? Oh, so good. I'm gonna go ahead and try the green salsa now. That's probably enough. It's hard to compare the ramen with this and then the taco because they're just so different, but next time I come, I'm having this. Carmelita, my new favorite thing here. Gotta have the jalapeno, so let's go ahead and, and get some spice, warm up. It's really cold outside, so. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna put this in the, in the ramen because I'm pretty sure it's gonna get more flavor once I put it in there. Mulita, mulita, it is jammy favorita. Agua de Jamaica that they make, absolutely awesome. A little sweet. A little tart goes perfect um, with this meal. That it's a bit warm, but it's also a nice palate cleanser. Just love agua de Jamaica or hibiscus water. If I'm being honest, the jalapeno is kicking in. <laughs> My mouth is a little hot. <laughs> Hola, ¿cómo están? Saludos. Felicitaciones por el primer día. Gracias. ¿Ese es el consomé acá? Sí. Wow. Alright, guys, this is the consomé. Today is hot and bubbly and delicious. ¿Cuánto hacen eso al día? ¿Cómo? ¿Qué es esto? ¿Cuánto hacen al día? ¿Este galón entero o más? No, más o menos, más o menos por aquí. Wow. ¿De dónde eres tú? De Cuba, from Cuba. Cuba. Ah, yo soy de Miami, escuché el acento. Ajá, vale, ya. Oye, es un cubano un lugar mexicano, ¿qué es eso? Todos cubanos, cubanos, cubanos. Todos son cubanos, wow. Cuatro cubanos. Tenemos La Habana aquí en la casa. Sí. ¿Y de qué parte de Cuba son? Yo soy de La Habana y ellos de Piente Río. Piente Río y ellos de La Habana. Y aquel es Piña del Río y el otro es Piña del Río también. Ah, wow. ¿Y el tú? Yo de Piña del Río también. Piña del Río. De Honduras. De Honduras. Honduras. Ok, ok. Sí, yo, te, yo tengo dos años acá, crecí toda mi vida en, en Miami con amigos cubanos. Hay Miami, Miami, ¿eh? Sí. No, no, ahora alguien dice Miami es de, de Hollywood. Entonces aquí están haciendo este es burrito. Lo vas a dar los la primera vez que me encuentro cubanos aquí en, en ¿Sí? Utah. ¿En Utah? Cubanos haciendo comida mexicana. Cubanos haciendo comida mexicana, sí. Entonces, esta es la virgen que ponen en todas las cosas. Todas las cosas. Okay. Wow, what a, what a wonderful experience to uh, have been here with, uh, with Chris and to see his staff and his team growing and being able to eat um, his wonderful family recipe with the birria. Um, I am um, extremely happy for him and, and their success and their growth. Um, it is a proven model now having four different locations and continuing um, to grow with such a simple menu but powerful flavors. So wonderful, wonderful experience. Uh, and the building is absolutely amazing. Um, off camera, Chris was telling me that um, this used to be a Mexican restaurant and before that it used to be a French restaurant. Um, so thank you so much. Please remember um, to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Please share, like, follow us on Instagram if you haven't done so. A star for more. And uh, I show other content that I, will, I won't show on this channel. Uh, that way you just get to have a fresh take on something else that I'm, I'm publishing or, or showing. Take care and stay starving for more.